with cuts. People already under stress with debt, poverty and ill health would not pick up the corporate tragedy because they were more concerned with problems of how to pay the bills and feed their families, not realising that citizen service point was the rent office. Um, so yeah, I mean I hope the demo today will be really great and um, all these issues are really important and all connected and so yeah, thank you for letting me speak. The destruction of our services by a government hell-bent on transferring power and wealth from our pockets and from our hands to their mates in big business and the super rich. That is the logic that demands these cuts. It's their backers in big business that are saying that they must make more profit from the care services, from the running of libraries or education. And it is us that must stand in their way and defend what is ours. This is a beginning to that campaign for this round of cuts. If, and I suspect it might, if the budget is voted through on Tuesday night, that will not be the end. We will fight alongside those people in the communities around Bristol, the workers and the users of these services who are standing and fighting street by street to defend what they need. And the Bristol and District Anti-Cuts Alliance will take that fight with them. Every step and every inch of the way, we will be there. We will link those campaigns together into one mighty voice that says no more cuts. Whether they come from Labour or from the Tories, we will stand up we will fight back and we can win. Thank you. So I implore all of you to keep an eye out for every single service near you that is closing, whether you use it or not, and join in with Badaka. All right, thanks. Brilliant. Thank you, Aaron. Fight, fight, fight back! ...services 24-7, we will be left with parts of Bristol without bus services after 8 o'clock at night. We'll be left with bus services to parts of South Bristol that won't run on a Sunday. And we'll be left with places like Hillfields, places like Knoll West, Hartcliff, Withywood. We say fight back! Fight back! And it's been said to me by several Labour councillors, oh we couldn't do it, if we went it would be like going over the top in the First World War, we'd all be massacred, we would have no effect. On the contrary, it would have an enormous effect because it would raise the issue of standing up to the cuts, it would give confidence to people and other councillors across the country who are feeling a similar position. And on that basis, we could build a mass campaign, not just in Bristol, but across the country, which would sweep the Tories from power. If Labour are serious about winning the elections in 2020, then they better not allow themselves to be used to carry through Tory cuts. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this a success. Let's go forward and let's defeat these cuts and let's defeat the Tories. Cheers. Fantastic. Thanks very much for that. That was a great uh, final speech for our rally.